The Erie Rice Quality Assessment Kit or Quality Kit is used to test many quality traits of rice, including testing the temperature and moisture content to ensure grain quality. This video will show you what the Quality Kit includes and why you should use a kit like this to test the quality of your rice. We will then show you the various uses of each piece in the kit and teach you how to use them. The quality kit contains a set of tools that can be used to determine important physical grain quality parameters. The kit contains a graduated cylinder or flask, a mini scale, a scale caliper, an infrared thermometer, a sheet grater, a magnifier, a rice milling chart, and an Erie moisture meter. Quality is determined by a combination of varietal properties and environmental conditions which occur from production to handling. By understanding quality traits and the factors that affect quality in post-harvest operations, you can make management decisions to maximize quality and thus financial returns. The quality kit helps you measure quality. It can be used in post-harvest operations and in practical training on grain quality when a grain quality laboratory is not available. This cylinder or flask measures volume. It is used for volumetric determination of fractions of a sample. For measuring the percentage of broken grain in a milled rice sample, measure 100 milliliters of the sample. Separate the broken grains from the whole grain using the shaker trays. Measure the volume of the broken grains to determine the broken grain percentage on a volume basis. You can also use the flask to calculate bulk density of paddy, milled rice, husk, and bran. This mini scale weighs samples up to 250 grams. It is used to measure sample weights, determine the percentage of fractions, or measure the 1,000 grain weight of paddy. Turn the scale on and wait until the display shows zero. Make sure it is set to grams. Place a container onto the scale and press the zero button. Place your sample in the container and read the weight. The scale caliper can be used to measure the length and width of the grain. Open the jaws, place the grain between the jaws, and read the dimension in millimeters from the scale. Note that the scale is in increments of one-tenth of a millimeter. The trays are used to separate whole kernels from the broken rice. By oscillating the trays, broken rice remains in the indents while the head rice falls off the grater. 
Repeat this procedure until no broken grains are left in the sample. Temperature measurements are important in post-harvest operations. This non-contact thermometer is used for monitoring grain temperature in rice milling and drying. Simply press the button and point the laser pointer at the surface that you want to measure. Go as close as possible to the object that you want to measure because the measuring spot is larger than the laser spot. Check the top of the thermometer to determine the spot size for a given distance. This magnifier is used to find cracks and identify insects in the grain. Push the button backwards to eject the magnifying lens. Push the button forward to turn on a light for better magnification. The rice milling chart indicates the level of polishing of the white rice. It ranges from 8 to 14 percent, which is equivalent to the percent weight removed during the polishing process. 10 to 12 percent is the preferred range. Put several grains of milled rice on one panel of the chart and compare the appearance of the grains with the background. Read the number on the panel on the background that matches the grains most. To dry and store your grain effectively, it is important to accurately measure the moisture content. A cheaper alternative to the moisture tester was designed by Erie for moisture determination of paddy and stored rice. There are five steps to remember in getting an accurate moisture content reading. Step 1. Press the power switch to on. Step 2. Press the reset button. When you press the reset button, make sure that there are no grains in the spoon. The needle should deflect fully to the left of the dial, like this. Step 3. Insert the spoon with grains, covering the base in a single layer. Make sure you put enough grains onto the spoon for an accurate reading. Do not overfill it. For rice, put a single layer of 14 to 16 grains on the spoon. For coffee, place 4 to 6 beans onto the spoon. Step 4. Turn the knob clockwise until the sample is ground. For example, once you have tightened the knob so it is hand tight, turn it an extra 3 fourths of the way around again. It may take a little force, but if you do not tighten the knob enough, the reading will be inaccurate. Step 5. Read the moisture indicator panel to see the moisture content of this sample. When the needle is in the blue range, it means your paddy moisture content is below 12%, which is good for seed storage. When the needle is in the green range, the paddy moisture content is between 12 and 14 percent, at which grain intended for milling can be stored safely. If the needle is in the red range or at the end of the scale, the paddy is too wet for storage and needs to be dried. Those are the basics in using the Erie Rice Quality Assessment Kit. Remember to carefully follow the guidelines provided here when you assess the quality of your rice.